Okay, so a few years ago, I made a video on how to record your screen on Windows 10, and after quite some time, I decided to make an update video because, number one, the software has changed quite a bit since then, and number two, that video seems to be one of the most popular ones on my channel to this day. So, here we are. Anyway, you're watching CHM Tech and let's not stand on ceremony. We're gonna make this one short and sweet. Before we actually start recording, we're gonna need to get our settings down, and we can do that by going into Start, Options, Gaming. On the Xbox Game Bar page, we're gonna take a look at two things. First of all, we wanna make sure that the Game Bar option is activated. If this switch here is turned off, we're not gonna be able to use the Windows 10 recording features at all, so we wanna make sure that it's turned on. Secondly, down here we can see all the different shortcuts. Now, there's really no requirement for us to memorize these shortcuts because everything that we're gonna do can be done through the user interface. But if you like to do things quickly, you can use these shortcuts or change them to your liking. If you decide to do so, just make sure that they don't interfere with any other shortcuts that you already have set up for other programs. Moving on to the capture page. Up here we can see our output folder, which is the location where all our captures are saved. Unfortunately, we can't change this location using the UI. Now, there is a way to do it, however, in order to save some time, I'm just gonna leave a link with the instructions in the description. Background recording is a feature that we're gonna skip in this video, so let's just move on to the other settings. The maximum recording length of our videos can be set right here, and it can go up to four hours. In order to record any audio, we wanna make sure that the record audio when I record a game option is enabled. Moving on, enabling this option makes it so that our mic is automatically turned on whenever we start recording. Personally, I find that it's best to leave this option off because we can always manually toggle our mic on or off later on. For audio quality, we have a few options, one of which is recommended, however, I like to adjust this to the highest possible setting. Also, we can adjust our mic and system volume levels right here. Now, record game audio only can be a bit of a confusing one, as simple as it sounds. I know, it should be pretty straightforward, but to spare you of any elaborations, I'll just say that I like to leave it on. As for the video options, we can choose either 30 or 60 frames per second and standard or high quality. Both qualities record up to 1080p, however, what sets them apart is the bitrate at which the videos are recorded. Finally, we can choose whether we want our mouse cursor to be visible or not, and we're ready to start recording. In order to bring up the game bar, we're gonna hit the Windows and G keys on the keyboard. And when we do so, we're gonna see a few windows on our screen. In case you wanna reveal or hide a particular window, you can do so by clicking here and then selecting what you want to reveal or hide from the dropdown. In order to start recording, we're first gonna decide whether we want to use our mic or not, and then simply click on the record button. Once recording starts, we're gonna see a little widget on our screen, which of course will not be visible in the captured footage. Now, while we're doing our thing, we obviously don't want the UI obstructing our view, so in order to hide it, we're not gonna X out of anything, but simply hit the escape key on our keyboard. In order to stop recording, we can hit stop on the widget or bring the game bar back up and click stop right here. The recorded material will then be visible in the gallery window, along with some basic information. You can open the file location by clicking here or here and do your magic from there. Okay, so I've given you all the basics and I'm sure you'll figure out anything else you need along the way. But before we go, I just wanna give you a few pros and cons. For the pros, the software allows you to capture some decent quality footage without going through the hassle of looking for third party options. Also, you can use it whether your copy of Windows 10 is activated or not. And if you do have that annoying Windows is not activated watermark on the bottom right of your screen, you don't have to worry about it because it's not gonna be visible in the footage. As for the cons, for recording in higher resolutions, you're gonna have to look for those third party options after all, as this software currently only records up to 1080p. Also, the software cannot record in regular windows and on the desktop. While it is capable of recording in apps, as soon as you minimize or close an app, the recording stops. So, unfortunately, it's not really a viable option for desktop tutorials. So there you go, like I said, short and sweet. Thumbs up if you liked the video and thanks for watching. And as always, stay strong.